Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Um, I am actually trying something new this time, and I wanted you guys to be here to join me. Um, as it says in the title of this video, yes, I will be doing a night ritual outside with the god uh, Baphomet. And um, it's new because I've never did a ritual to him before. And I've always been curious because I couldn't really find too much information on him. So I kind of had to improvise with the altar that I made out here. Um, oh, my little tripod. Um, anyway, yeah, I, it's hard to find information on him. Uh, he's associated with uh, the Satanic Church. And he's also been associated with the Knights Templar who were accused of worshipping him uh, years and years ago, and that's the reason why they were executed. But he is not an evil symbol from what I could gather. He is actually a symbol of balance and equilibrium between male and female, light and dark, good and evil, you know, and between nature itself. So he is seen as a little bit of both on both sides, both light and dark. So, uh, before we get into the ritual, I'm going to show you my altar to him, show you what I got. Okay. So, here it is. So, I have the Evil Eye Pendant, which, um, if some of you are new to this and wondering why do you have an evil eye on your altar, the Evil Eye is actually to keep away evil. It's a protective pendant. So, um, because I'm new to worshipping this deity, I want to make extra sure that I don't accidentally attract anything negative to my altar. So, I have a ceremonial bronze chalice, and I am going to drink some <laughs> uh, Jose Cuervo strawberry margarita out of. Now, why would I choose that? Well, I wanted to drink something ceremonial that was red, but I didn't really have anything besides that, so that will do. To drink ceremonially as an offering to him. Oh no. My black candle went out. So I've got two white candles, and they got little ghost symbols from Halloween on them. I thought it was perfect. Uh, I have three pieces of magnetic hematite. And, um... Hematite is very good for dealing with spiritual matters. Uh, I've got two pieces of black onyx. I've got a cauldron full, uh, full of ashes that I've used for previous rituals, so they have positive and good protective energies. And some sage. I'm going to cleanse myself and the altar before I start. There's the drink. And, of course, this little doohickey that I got from Big Lots on Halloween years ago. I thought it would fit. Um, I've got my Burfamet statue, if you can see here. He is symbolized as half man, half goat, but he's both man and woman as well. He's got a torch on the top of his head, and he has hooved feet, and he's sitting on the world. And right behind him, I also have a little bit of quartz. Um, I do have one pentagram that I've turned upside down because it is his symbol. And underneath it, I just have a little protective, uh, little lid to keep the candle wax from dripping on the table. Um, and also, I have this that my dad made me a while ago. I've never used it in a ritual, so I thought now was the perfect time to start. So I'll relight that too, if the wind can actually work with me. Now, I don't usually film rituals because they're more of a personal matter. Most people wouldn't. Um, but I thought it was the perfect time to show you an example of how a ritual of mine works. Um, how I do a, an outdoor ritual. So, um, <clears throat> I am going to start soon, so we'll see how it goes. All right. We are about to begin the outdoor ritual to Baphomet. Um, wish me luck, guys.
before I begin this ritual, I cleanse and bless this altar and myself. I cleanse myself of any negativity before I start this ritual. Any negative thoughts, any fear, anything that will keep my energy from flowing freely as I do this ritual. I also cleanse this altar of anything negative that might have clung to it throughout the years. So here I go, blessing this altar and everything upon it. Cleansing it of anything negative that may have clung to it through years past. And now, with this blessed sage, I hereby cleanse and bless everything upon this altar. And now, nothing evil shall be able to come in and enter this sacred space. As I will it, so mote it be. I hereby summon to this altar the god Baphomet, the hooved one, the one that symbolizes both good and evil, the one that symbolizes balance. I hereby summon thee to this ritual. I have made you an altar full of offerings. I ask that you please come and enjoy them, and please, Hear what I have to say. Great God Baphomet, I hereby welcome you to this altar and all that is upon it. It is all dedicated to you. I hereby summon you to this altar to hear what I have to say. Please come, you are hereby invited. Nothing negative shall be with us, only your blessed energy. I feel your power, Baphomet. I can feel you here with me. Please, enjoy what's upon this altar. It is all for you. It is dedicated to your honor. Please enjoy the energy that gives off from these statues, this pendant, these candles, as well as this burning sage. It is all for you. Please come and enjoy. It is all for you. And now that you are here, I have one more offering to make. Baphomet, I have a libation to drink in your honor. Please enjoy it through me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please enjoy it through me as it rushes through my body. It is considered one more gift I have to bestow upon you in your honor. And now that you received this gift as well as these offerings, I hereby ask your favor. I ask for balance. 
not just in my life, but the lives of the ones I love and the people in this world. I ask that you please bring positivity and balance. Lessons to be learned. Please, may people's journeys go smoothly, whether it be spiritual or physical. I ask for your blessed honor of equilibrium. May any bad that comes into our lives be not as equal as the amount of good that comes within it. <clears throat> I asked that the dark and the light be balanced. May the world continue to move on, but with progress. Let us continue to learn the lessons that we came on this earth to learn. I ask for your blessed power to be upon me and my loved ones for protection from the evils of this world and to humbly accept the positive that blows on the winds of change. O oh, great God Baphomet, I feel your power. Please grant me this. Please hear my prayers and grant them at your leisure. May these offerings act as a thank you for your blessed power being in my life and the lives of others. With this staff, I hereby ground my energy. May it balance out my good and negative energies. May it cleanse me of any toxins, both spiritual and physical. And may it bond my power with the power of nature. May your blessed power be within everything and everyone. Oh, thank you, great God Baphomet, for attending this ritual in your honor. I can feel you. Baphomet, thank you so much for coming and giving us your honor. May you continue to watch over me, the ones I love. Please help me achieve my goals and help me upon my journey. If we are bond in eternal energy, then so be it. I bask in your blessed energy, both dark and light. I thank you. As I will it, so mote it be.
I hereby conclude this ritual in your honor. I thank you once again for coming and accepting my invitation. May we see each other again one day. May the smoke from these blessed candles be one final offering. And may all darkness turn to light in my life and in everyone else's in the world. All right, everyone, you've seen it now. Um, like I said, I don't normally film my rituals, but I thought it was the perfect opportunity to show you guys how um, a ritual would be done, how I do rituals, uh, a good example. Um, I don't do all my rituals this way. I do them a little differently depending on the uh, God I'm speaking to. Um, and this is my first time that I've done a ritual to Baphomet. So, um, I felt him here. I definitely felt his presence. It was definitely here with me. Um, I can feel him gone now. Wow. Some gods, they stick around, uh, to soak up as much of the energies from the offerings as possible. He seemed, uh, like he was ready to go. So now I just have a table full of little trinkets and candles out here. So I got to clean that up. Um, I do hope to show you guys um, some more rituals that I plan on doing. Um, I don't do outdoor rituals as much as I used to. Uh, when I first moved in here, I used to do a lot of them. Uh, but eventually with my... Um, Grandma unable to sleep in her own bedroom. It was kind of tough to not wake her and get all this stuff to go outside So I kind of stopped doing that. Well now she recently she's been out of the house uh, so um, I thought it was a good opportunity as any to Actually do an outdoor ritual for old times sake. Um, I really do miss when I used to do these <laughs> um, I wish I could do them more often and hopefully one day I'll be able to but uh, yeah, that felt good to do. Uh, all right, guys, please <clears throat> subscribe to my channel and uh, please hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future episodes. Um, oh, the doggies are out. <laughs> uh, please check out my Twitter and my Substack where I have my own spiritual blog. <laughs> it's okay, puppies. It's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.